What's up guys, this is Foden here. This is a, an After Effects tut tut uh, sorry, tutorial on how to make a sort of skydiving effect. And this is what I'm talking about now. Um, here we go. So as you can see, I've got the 3D model of him sort of flying through the air. You can see the background and it comes down into the map and it's also cloud effect which is on top of it all making it look like he's flying through the sky clouds going up and so forth now that is all that basically is contained in this um, project <clears throat> you've got the clouds the 3D model and the background, the sky, say. So, let me just start off with the back. No, no. What you want to do is, first of all, you're going to need a. a sort of animation similar to this. Something that looks like. He's falling through the air, and as you can see, I've added um, a camera shake onto this, which you just go to position, hold Alt, click stopwatch, type in wiggle, open bracket, click. F uh, I'll just do it again. So wiggle, open bracket four comma, pick whip the slider, and close bracket and click off, and then you've got yourself a camera shake. The motion tile, which is sort of like mirrors the edges on the outside, so let me just turn it off and let me get a prime example. As you can see at the top here, it sort of cuts off because that's where the video sort of ranges. It just sort of flips it on the on all sides, sort of the opposite. So you know, it sort of blends in a bit more. Uh, so I just put the output height and width to 110 and then mirror edges and then you sort it for that so you've imported your, your sort of clip editor, your clip the little animation and you've added the camera shake it looks pretty nice so far and also what I do is I add a cross blur I put the radius X to 3 and then the radius Y to 42 and that just will give it a more fall in effect because it's sort of like blurred I think it was a nice little effect so I decided to throw that in so now we've got our dive or well, our, our 3D man sorted and you can do this with like normal real, like real people, real footage not just cod shit so yeah we've got the the dive next is what I do, I do is is I add a sky which was just a cinematic from a Call of Duty 3, uh, Modern Warfare 3 map and that's just sitting in there like that and to get like the buildings this is a separate cinematic um, which I've uh, I sort of masked out the top and faded so it blends in because if I as you can see this is all white and here's the cinematic below which would be this one as you can see where it's faded and what I've done is I've just select both of them, hold P. Well, no, actually, look. This one. And you just sort of keyframe it from about here. And then move it up so you can see the actual map. So then when you come towards, towards the end, the map starts to come up so it looks like he's falling. Or if that's a bit too complicated, you could just stick with the sky, and even the sky was um moving. Where I can, uh, where is it? As you can see, this big box here. It starts off sort of here, and as I go through, it moves up. Just so the clouds are sort of moving, gives it a bit more, and then the next one folds up into it, bringing the buildings in. If that does get a bit too complicated for you, then just use some clouds. 
however. And then the last bit, which is the smoke. You, so you're going to need trap code particular. If you want to create a new solid, set it to black. Oh my god, sorry. Got hiccups. Um, set it to black, and you got a solid. You just want to upload, um, dra uh, go trap code particular. Now, you won't need to do much in it. All you need to do is the emitter, particle, and physics settings. So the emitter, the particle per second you want 1550. Set the emitter type to box. And set the position just below the sort of comp area. And then the reason for this is because you want it to go up. You want the uh, you might want it to be mitten from this point going up so it looks like he's falling <clears throat> and to make that sort of go up will uh, will be done by these settings velocity you'll turn to min minus 260 and then velocity random is 100 velocity distribution is 5 and the velocity for motion is 20 so I think they're near enough the same and then the emitter size X is 2225. Emitter size Y is 892. And the Z is, uh, or Z, is uh, 316. With the random speed being 10,000. No, that's 100,000. <clears> 100,000, sorry about that. It's 100,000. So that's the emitter tab. Just want to go particle. Set the life to 10. Life random to 13. Set the particle type to cloud it. Cloud it feather 27. The size to 78. And the opacity to 4. And make sure that's white. Then you just want to go to the physics. Have the physics model air, which it should really be on there in the first place, but keep it air. Put the gravity to minus 10,000. It's 10,000 on that one, that's it. Um, and then the physics time factor 1. And if you just want to select the whole layer, turn the opacity to about 30%. And you should get that nice sort of effect. So I hope this, um, well, I hope you made use for this. This actual clip is being used in my big project. Um, and I thought, you know, I might as well just share how to do this little skydive effect. You know, it may help somebody. But yeah, please like and comment. Please subscribe if you haven't, and uh, peace.